Hi everyone, welcome back to Beach Angel Tarot. I'm here to do a three month reading. We're gonna do April, May, and June. We're gonna look at the energies as a general collective for those that are guided to this video, to this reading. Um, and this is March, this is very late March, 2021. So this will be for April, May, June. Or if you come across this at any point in the future and you wanna look at the next three months, or you want to look at different energies i always say that the reading can come from any intention that you put on it it can bring up the messages for you so if you want to do it in that way so you may want to do um you know three different energies versus months on you know like questions or something to see how it answers you and use your intuition not all the things that i say you may be seeing or hearing something or feeling something different so um that being said we're going to do the reading with tea leaf and the Spirits of Darkness and Light Divination Deck by Mystic Moon for each month. And I'm going to start with a few oracles. I'm going to pull one from the, the unicorn. So this will be overall energy for, um, this will be overall energy for the three months, April, May, June as a whole. And we have Beloved. So that one came right out there. Um, and it is prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. So very nice energy there. Um, I'll pull another one. And we have leadership. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others. So a lot of green heart chakra healing coming up here. Um, so very beautiful. And with the blue, I see a lot of communication and um, heart chakra healing coming. And there could be healing through or, or from communication in the next three months as well. Um, as a whole. You know, as a collective whole. So let's see what blessing may come in the overall next three months as well. So let's do that. I'm just going to make this fun and light and see what comes. What blessing will come to those that are guided to this video, to this reading over the next three months. What blessing may be on its way. And it is a blessing on your day. Number five, I think it is. Five is all about change. more green so just a general like a daily blessing so you may want to do a daily blessing or do a daily affirmation something daily like a daily routine that you have and she's really connecting with the tree so perhaps getting outside and, and con connecting with nature um can bring about a change but i do feel like the, i was really drawn to the number so i see five as changeable energy i see it as a bit challenging because we're in the middle we could have hit a plateau with something something may have become stagnant and stopped moving when we hit the five um it can kind of go around in circles it's an odd number it can just kind of challenge us but it's also what can bring us out of a change challenges bring us to change and so i definitely feel that vibe here with the two green she's wearing green in this card um coming up so very beautiful so let's focus on our April I'll just shuffle focusing on April and see what four cards come up for us. April, what spirit is helping us? Spirit of fire, passion, creativity, spark. So sacral chakra energy. The buck, it could be masculine energy as well. Taking action. We have spirit of the trickster, thief, trickster, hustler. So tricky energy with the sacral chakra. And we're going to see what else comes as a whole. We have dog barking, advice from a friend. So hearing from a friend. Um, dog close up. Are you kidding me? There's two dogs. That's interesting. Pleasure with a close friend. Older man, dealings or relationship with an older man. He kind of looked scary, didn't he? He was like, whoa. At first when I flipped it over, like, yikes. Um, key, successful outcome to your problems. So I'm going to put them down and kind of just look. So 
So to be kind of weary of some trickster energy in the month of April. Spark, you know, the word trigger. I have a friend that says, instead of, instead of saying trigger, which can indicate something negative, she says spark, and which means, you know, you're sparked into, um, you know, you realize something sparking within you. You're realizing that you're being, you know, triggered, so to speak. But um, it can it, it can ignite a passion. It can ignite, you know, the fire energy. And this can be, um, okay, that's what I'm getting to. This is where I'm going. Anger is the word. Um, so it can prompt us to anger. And anger can actually prompt us to take action. This is advice from a friend, older man, key success. It's like being given a tool to, it could be a, given a tool for anger management. So if you know somebody that has anger management issues, um, it can be that you find a solution to that. But this is a, like a prompting t into um, taking action on something that maybe is, um, you know, like when we see things in the environment, you know, like, people littering it can make us mad you know and it and it spurs us it sparks us into action that's the kind of thing i'm talking about or if you see somebody being abused that can't speak for themselves like an elder or a child it sparks us into action right um it makes us passionate about that that issue that thing and so i feel that kind of energy for us in the month of april now apply it to your life however it goes it could be you know um you know something to do with you in an individual situation um, or a personal issue in your own life. So it's where I'm going with the thief and the trickster part of it is tricky energy. It's like tricky and it kind of tricks you into taking action. Let's put it that way. So again, it's, you know, this felt a lot, this felt very powerful. This felt very like, you know, heated, like, oh, you know, anger. Like I'm, you know, like that's the tricky thing. Like passion is one thing but when it's on the trickier edges it's anger right it's um kind of changed its form and now it's full-on anger so i kind of feel that's here but it but in a tricky roundabout way it gets us to take inspired action that is helpful um i see two close talking to you know talking to a close friend um, this dog energy, of course, dogs can be important for people. Everybody has a dog. Not everybody has a dog, but a lot of people are dog lovers and have a dog. So dogs can be important in the month of April. Um, and that they're indicating an older man, so this could be a, ma a male dog as well, just as a, um, just you know, in combination. But I, this one it says advice from a friend, and you can see like that out here is like, um, you know, what do you call it? Um, vibration coming out of its mouth. So I feel like communication coming from um you know a masculine it could be older could be somebody that is more mature and there is a, a successful outcome to problems but this in in regards to this this just feels like the key the information something that comes in that you know kind of opens this up that when you do this it it's, it's something it ends up being something helpful so it spurs you into inspired action that it, it ends up being helpful so those are the messages for our April. I'm going to move on. May. So let's focus on our May. Spirit of communication again. Spirit of the Fae, mischief play, fantasy. So fairy energy being with us in the month of May. Play mischief. Focusing on May spirit for this reading. Okay, they told me to look at the bottom, which is kind of funny. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. 
which I didn't say, I did, I did say change in the beginning, right? I said change here. So change could be coming in April, May. Oh, May is number five. So <laughs> that goes right along with the caterpillar. Oh, and she's kind of like the same colors. Look, like I'm going, oh, oh. <laughs> We kind of have the same colors there. So there's a change coming in May. Could have to do with, you know, lighter communication, happier kind of communication. Um, we have harp, great happiness. Funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Diamond, gift of jewelry. Lion, time to act. And there again is that feeling of this being sparked into action to do something. So um, it could be back here someone is sparked into action into doing something and you see the results of that in the month of May and you see that change energy too. You can put it in that way because, you know, we say April, May, and June, but these energies can be, you know, mutable. They can run into each other. I even say these can run back into April. I don't feel anything is like this ends on the 30th and it starts on the 1st or whatever. Um, I think as we're looking at this as a three-month energy, and I'm pulling them this way, but spirit can, you know, obviously, it can be all three months um, intertwined. So we're going to see how I see this. Um, diamonds are forever. Gift of jewelry. So something lasting. I feel some lighthearted energy with the harp, the change. There's some lighthearted change coming in. Um somebody takes action in the month of may or you know before so, and it could have to do with this because we see the lion lion is um protective energy too all lessons to be learned so it could be that somebody has like learned their lesson change your mind they do something they take action in the month of may, may. and you and it could be you as well the funnel would, in, would indicate something that is kind of lost because there's nowhere to stop it. So it's like something that just, you know, continued on and never stopped. Um, something you couldn't keep contained. But interesting here in, in the picture when I'm really seeing it, it, they are, you know, they have said it actually looks like a salt shaker, but it looks like it's backed up like it hasn't gone anywhere. So um, it's like they have contained it. Funneling things in the right direction is what I'm getting from that too. Putting things where they belong is another thing that's coming from that card. Putting things in their place, in their proper place. Diamonds are forever, so some ever. Um, it just went into a weird energy there. I don't know what, how to explain it um, with words. Um, it just went into like this, diamonds are forever. Forever went into some weird, um, feeling but time to act you know I get these weird past life vibes and when I've got the time and the forever thing with these two the, the lion and the diamond it just felt like it was and harp great happiness So yeah, I'm gonna let that go because I don't know exactly where. But in May, there's going to be changeable, something changes, there's gonna be communication, somebody's sparked into action, they're doing something, the energy is funneling in the right direction. Um, and I feel like a change to this energy of frustration, which brings that happiness. So that is May, I let it go at that, but there was another weird feeling coming from those two cards. If I, if when I stop the video and I get something more from that, I will type it in the box below the video. So you, if you see something down there, it will be about this, because there was something there that I didn't quite, I didn't have the, I mean, I, sometimes it takes me some time to like get it all and it just was there, but I didn't grasp it. So I'm going to try to get rasp it when I'm done with the video. So April, May, June. Hmm. 
some reason I got decided to look at all those. So Spirit of the Rabbit, Fertility Sex Spring, which of course we are in spring. Easter is back here. And like I said, these are all, you know, kind of like floating around. Identity, Vibration, Soul Essence. Um, we have Manifest Skill, Trans Transmutation, Alchemy. So this is like the Temperance card. Spirit of Anchor, Invest Solid, Stable. So I'm going to put those there and shuffle for April, May, June. This one wanted to come out. This one's sticking out. This one's sticking out. So I'm going to take the bottom. And the bottom is Owl. Good advice from a wise person. So let's see. We have Money Path. The path with money is waiting for you to find it. Table, hard work ahead, and torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So obviously good energy with work, money. You know, there's a path of money is waiting for you to find it. And spiritual development, enlightenment. So there's there's a path illuminated for the month of June where you're gonna it's gonna take you to something abundant and it's something, you know, I do feel it's finances because it says actually money, but it could just be something that's um, more solid it could be something that you want to invest in um, but there is a lot of enlightenment coming uh, as well but it could bring you know it could bring some hard work it could bring some effort this almost feels like the eight of pentacles so effort dedication into something more solid um, fertility spring fertility talks about that abundance and that soul essence vibration identity manifest skill transmutation so um, I feel like, you know, this is a good month for manifesting, obviously, with the manifesting, the abundance. Spring is all about growth. You know, there's fertility here. There's sacral chakra. Um, you know, investing in anything, investing time in manifesting. I feel like your manifestations are coming, especially if you're looking for money. But there is good energy coming, and it's with the out. It says good advice from a wise person. So I feel like you could be, you know, tipped off to a good investment. Um, somebody gives you a good idea to invest in something. In the month of June, um, but there isn't a path that is enlightening that is going to be very, you know, it's going to be a solid path. It's going to be something that you want to put the effort and time into in the month of June. But there again, it could be kind of floating back into the other months. So that is our three months breakdown. And I want to do, you know, and going back to the beginning, it could have to do with these opening cards too. You know, like all of those actually. And I want to see. Let's do a good fortune cookies. For the three months. I'm going to do three first ones for April. Intuition. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. So again, that, that good investment is in here, you know, um, a good investment on your efforts, your time. Tough and trying times, tough times ahead, think long term and make decisions accordingly, avoid negative people at all costs for the middle card. So it's talking about think long term. That makes me think of Ten of Pentacles. Um, and we have planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundation for your future. Financial gains are more, are more than likely. So I get even from this, even though it's saying tough and trying times, Ten of Pentacles is about long term. It's where we prepare and plan for the long term. We lay a good, solid, stable foundation. So I definitely feel that energy in the mix here. Um, yeah, diamonds are forever. They're saying it again. I almost forgot what was in here that I was looking at. Diamonds are forever and the... Think long term. So something long term. And long term has to do with time too. And there was a card in here that said time to act. But the word time, mm, the word time is what grabbed me. Long time, you know, forever is a long time. And it says something long term, which is long time. And interesting. I don't quite grasp the whole thing yet, but that's very tied into what I'm getting from this card. So it's not so much tough and trying times as it is setting something in place for the long term. Like, 
how something's going to be managed long term, how we're going to continue this moving into the future, um, you know, starting something that will bring you an investment down the line, that kind of thing. So, yeah, um, I hope everyone has enjoyed the reading. If you have any questions, um, you can, you know, type them below. I try to answer, um, you know, when people comment, it's always welcome. And I will try to do one of these every three months. So I hope everyone has an amazing spring and, a, you know, just a quick start to their summer in June. So angel blessings to everyone. Oceans of love.